Hello guys. So today I'm making a color grading breakdown of my recent short film Igao and I should say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the really nice comments you've been making on my films and uh, I really appreciate it and it means a lot. All right, so let's jump right into it. So from the most of the comments, I guess this is your favorite clip from the film and I'm going to show how I color graded this scene. It's quite easy actually. This is the original nodes, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, I guess. Thirteen nodes. Um, and but today I'm going to be color grading from scratch. So let's uh I think I already have it loaded, a new version, so basically from scratch, and this is how it looks like. So now we have just one node here, and I guess I have to create these 13 nodes. But let's start with just this three first, and create some others. Uh, let's, let's start with that for now. So the first one, as usual, is my CST, my FPE, and then my grain. So this is kind of like a, a standard for me. And then you have uh, my primaries. And then I have curves. And I guess this is a hue, which we'll see later. Uh, what else? Okay, this is would be my pink. I'll create a parallel node using Alt P and make it a uh, blue. And then this would kind of be my look node. Add more nodes here. This would be my saturation glow and um, halation. Okay, uh, I think I need extra one more extra node and I'll call this my uh, outer vignette. Okay, outer vig. Nice, I guess we have everything set up now. So let's start with the first step, which is my color space transform. And I'm going to search for color space. Yeah, this is it. And I'm going through this because I've made a previous tutorials explaining this in detail. So if you do not understand, I would advise to go back to my previous tutorials and check it out. So my input color space is for shot with a black magic uh, 6K, pocket 6K. So I'm going to set the input color space to black magic, for black magic design white gamut gen 4 and slash 5 because I checked all the settings and this is the most uh, uh, correct one that goes with the Gen 5 color science installed on the camera. And input gamma, as usual, Blackmagic Film Gen 5. This, and I should advise to upgrade your camera to Gen 5 if you are using Gen 4 because it's, it's the best. This is Gen 4, and I don't really like it, and this is Gen 5. So, Gen 5. And then output color space is already set in my previous tutorials again. You can check it out. It's just as use timeline, but my gamma is a Simeon film mark. And that's all I need to do there. And here I just right click, where is it? In lots, film looks, where are you? And I go with D55, it's warmer because I'm going for a warm tone. So D55, and this is how it looks. Awful. Well, we're gonna move past that now and go to the grain. Oh. Green, okay. Apply green there, and I set it to a 35 mm sensor and leave it like that. So, basically, these are just kind of like standards for me already. So, it's not uh, if you don't understand, uh, you can go back to my previous tutorials again. All right, so now that we've done this, uh, the next thing I should do would be my saturation. I take this up, max it out, mask it out, mask. I said mask. <laughs> All right, they are all maxed out, and uh, yeah, and then I go to the key input, and I don't want it to be like a hundred, uh, have a hundred percent effect. Maybe like a 0.2. That should be fine for now. So the next thing we need to do is balance our footage out, and from the waveform, you can see that we have our highlights that are almost clipped. But the thing we shouldn't roll is that you can always bring those information back, and that's where this kind of magic it's almost magic trick actually this is where it comes into place and it's using the high dynamic range color wheels that works like magic and i'm going to show you now in a second 
first thing we need to do is that we need to tell this color wheel that this high dynamic range color wheel that we are using a black magic and the way to do that is to set your color space and you set your gamma just like we did here in your color space transform so we need to tell it that okay this is the particular camera we're using so that it knows how to behave in response to that particular camera so now let's get this dirty looking highlights back all right first thing we need to do now you can see why this tool is very powerful it can kind of select this is the shadows these are the darks these are the lights this is the highlights you can see just how powerful it is now if i say i should take this down you can see it's just selecting only the highlights and kind of leaving out even the lights but it's just picking out only the highlights but what i want to do here is i want to target the lights which includes both this and this so i'll take the exposure down maybe take it down a stop that's minus one so this is kind of behaving as if you are uh controlling your camera in person so basically that's what it does so that's not enough and i want to take it to minus two that's two stops down and you can see how it's working as magic basically let's see let me take it down a bit let's see minus 74 72 minus 2.72 yeah this works fine for me okay let's do before and after before after like magic now you might ask me okay what about using this gain here or even in your log wheels what about using this one would it work and let me show you the difference just try to keep this in mind see how look how it's looking let me reset this okay now let's use our primary wheels if i take my gain down trying to get that Trying to make here look good. Look at it. Look at it. You can see what it's doing to the other parts of the image. So it's kind of like a global effect, which is not what I want. Now let me use my gamma. Nope, still not it. Lift. Nope. Now let's try with the log wheels. Highlights. Nope. So you can you can see how using all those all these tools will not really work for that. And uh, you might say, okay, what about curves? Let's go with curves. You see what it's doing? You have gotten your highlights, but then it's killed here. So what do you say? Okay, what if I bring this back like this? Maybe something like this. Something like this. You can see just how much you are struggling to get those highlights back without affecting other parts of the image. Now you might say, okay, what about if I qualify? Let's turn this off, turn this off, shift H, I qualify my footage and get only the highlights. Now, that would work, but I wouldn't advise that because you are breaking your footage, you're eventually going to break your footage. And what if you have a footage that's not really as strong as mine, then you're going to run into problems with kind of, uh, uh, what is it called, noising and not properly keyed out. Um, you know, just don't use the qualifier, it's going to cause a lot of problems down the line. And you can see, look at this, what is this? What is this? If I blow it out, blow it out, add, add noise a bit, you can see the kind of halo effect is given. So it's it's really not clean. That's why I wouldn't say use your qualifiers. So reset, reset. I'm going to reset everything. Okay. Well, with this one, okay, still set. But with this one, minus two point seventy two powerful powerful our highlights are back beautiful you can see it on the waveform beautiful so now let's balance the rest of the image out uh i would say reset using my hdr let me just add more contrast uh right here is fine take this down a bit now this is just balancing the taste basically but i want what i want is maybe a bit more brighter footage and i'll go with my offset because it's more global so just bring it up a bit we increase the gamma a bit no this is our preference okay i think this is uh, fine for me 
save that so this is where we are now and then i will move on to i would say my glow now for this let me go back to the previous one, color grade this is my glow i'm just going to copy ctrl c move over to the next version and paste so you can copy and uh all my settings here if you want to i just don't uh, really want to go over individual settings again so here you are free to copy the exact settings whatever works for you okay below. perfect so that is that and then uh, you can see the effect it has here you just giving this you know cool feel and cool look to it yeah and then we'll go to my curves just to add more contrast again just kind of give this s curvy thing this just slightly okay this is fine add a bit of blues here okay this is oh too much oh i didn't set my anchor points okay this is cool let me tweak this a bit i don't think i'm totally happy with okay I don't know why my computer just decided to be ridiculously slower today. I mean, it's always slow, but it's just slower today. So I've gotten primaries, so we've gotten our curves, and now I want to kind of build a bit of a look, and I'm going to start with my primaries offset. I'll push it a bit to the warm side, not to pink. Oh, this is too much, too much, too much. I'll do. Maybe I would take my playback resolution to half. I guess that would work better. So push my offset here. Okay, right here. I guess kind of works. Oh no, let me do. Let me do. Let me do it with my gain. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Perfect. I love this. And then here with my look, I'm going to bring part of it down to the green. Yeah, something like this. It's just really, really, really tiny effect. And then I'll bring my saturation kind of back up. 0.3. Maybe more. 0.3. Or I could just, you know, color boost a little bit. So now this is where we are. Turn this off. Oof. Turn this off. You can see. So basically, I gave uh, more warmth to the highlights and to the whites to make it have this you know, sunsetty, orangey feel. And then I kind of brought it back down or balanced it out with my look. You can see here before, after. So it kind of takes that uh, edge off. Let's look at our retroscope. We're looking nice. Okay. And then the next thing I will add is my halation. Halation. Just search for halation. It's an effect. Now look. The thing with halation is that it's subtle, but it adds a very, very strong, powerful, I would say nostalgic, film-like effect. I don't know if you can see. Look at the edges here. Let me turn it off. On. quite beautiful but this is a bit uh, too much so I'm just going to lower the global blend the global adjustment where is it global blend yeah beautiful let's take it down a bit right here maybe take it down a bit adjust the spread now this is all personal taste take it down a bit before, after. It just adds that pizzazz, basically. Okay, let's save. So now, what else? Our outer vignettes. This is just for lighting purpose. Yes. Like this. I like this. Invert it. 
then make it darker so you have the focus on the subject. Let me turn this off. Before, after. Let me feather it out a bit. Okay. Before, after. Just kind of, you know, this vignette -y feeling and makes the focus on the subject. So, well, I've done this, 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 this. So the rest is the rest of this is hue, pink, and blues that we need to do. So why I why I made it like that is because look at the clothing; it doesn't really pop to me. So I'm going to make it pop. We can do that in several ways here. Hue versus uh, hue and hue versus saturation, or you can qualify. Now I'm trying to remember what exactly I did in the previous one. So let's go back. I think I used the uh, yeah qualifier. Okay, my pink. I'm gonna set up my pinks. Shift H to view the selection. I think this one was really really tricky to get the pinks without affecting the blues. Something like this. Yeah, I think this is kind of it. And then the noise a bit. Feather. Oh, sorry, blur a bit. And now I've selected it. This is kind of cool. Oh, my computer. Shift stage. I don't know why this is happening. To be honest, I really don't know why. Okay, I am back. So I don't know why that happened. It kind of like, I think my hard drive failed or so. I don't know. Well, we are back. And um, yeah, so we're on our pinks. This is what we wanted. So I just want to know, give it, maybe bring it up a bit, add more saturation to it. Maybe just push it up a bit, you know. You can see the difference before and after. And I want to do the same for my blues. Select it. Yeah. Okay, this is, I think this one is really tricky. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's the best we can have. Or maybe I use my 3D. Let's see. Okay. So I use the 3D qualifier mode. And I guess I'm fine with this. Just blow it out a bit. The noise. So same thing here. Add more saturation. Post it up a bit. Yeah. You can see. Beautiful save so now we've um i'd say i can you can stop here if you want to i guess i'm going to stop here there's really not much this is uh the first grade and this is the second version so just a little bit of differences here maybe take your highlights down a bit down this more you know right here here oops too much so kind of like this not that much difference okay so guys, that is how I color graded this clip. It's very, very simple, actually, not that much. And then uh, let's see, should I do this one? Not really that much. I guess I'm just going to explain what I did. So same thing here, first things first, CSTFP, grain, outer vignette, same thing, glow, elation, saturation, primaries, curves, same thing, pink, blues, look, and skin tone, because now we have uh, this so let me turn it off before before and after you can see the difference here and uh, just like i did before pink blue just a little difference and then the sky so now i remember i said the same thing here with my uh, high dynamic range i said the same thing to bring the sky back basically and then this node is practically just adding color to the sky using my qualifier here. I qualify the skies and then add, you know, when it's a bit more saturated and a bit blue, greenish. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing that's uh, complicated. Okay, so that was uh, quite fun. And as you can see, it's not really that difficult. I didn't really use any special technique there and you just you know, play around with uh, high dynamic range wheels and you know, tweak things to your taste basically. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I am Derek Chris. Peace.